Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what's up and what is happening? Captain, as you guys can see in Live HD, it is your host of the most, Paul Plan 2, back with a yard transformation video. So today I am going to be again transforming my front yard from this bare bones, horrible looking adventure of a horticultural disaster that was started when I bought the property and it's about time that I begin to transform it. All right, so my ideal mission with this project is to remove as much grass as possible possible and to create a lot of bed space for native plants, flowering plants, and just overall things that look better in the landscape environment. So I'm going to start off with an extension cord to outline the way and shape I want my beds to be. So without further ado, we got the extendo right here. Let's lay it down. So as I lay down this extension cord, I want you guys to see the shape. I'm creating nice circular patterns around the major roots of this oak tree and creating a nice organic feel to the bed shape. So once that was done, I whipped out a shovel and I started digging a small trench line along the extension cord. Now I'm using the shovel, shoving it in the ground and then kicking it out with my foot. This is a time tested and true technique. Now to create a perfect curve around the extension cord, I'm almost playing connect the dots. So I'm digging the shovel in, making little spots, and then connecting them in the middle. This is how you create a beautiful arc around the curves you have created if this is something you guys are looking into. Now the reason why I'm personally doing this is because grass serves no purpose. It's a waste of time to cut it. It's a waste of time maintaining it. And the whole reason it even exists in our culture today is because some Englishmen went to the Taj Mahal, saw that they had peasants cutting this field in front of it. They thought it looked cool, took it back to their manor, and then it's just kind of spiraled out of control from there. It doesn't help biodiversity, doesn't help insects, it doesn't help any birds get food. So that's why I'm about to change that starting with this bed space. So here is the trench line completely done. I do like the way the shape looked overall. And again, this is only the first rendition of this yard space. Eventually, there'll be no grass. Next, I started whipping out these half dead bushes. These things had one foot in the grave, bro, and they have seen better days. So I just got my pickaxe, took them to the root systems, and then drug these puppies straight out the ground. Let's call a spade a spade. These bushes looked horrendous, and they weren't helping out, man. The wildlife wasn't benefiting from them. So in the springtime, just know I'm going to change everything with the plants I select to put in this location. I also got rid of this pothos. It's a house plant, but when it gets outside, it can grow huge and become very invasive. So if you guys have one of these, do not let that shit outside. All right? Okay. Then I whipped out my lawnmower, and yes, it is electric. This thing is a breeze, has zero emissions. I would recommend it. It's called an Ego. But yeah, lowest setting, cut the grass, and then I whipped out the cardboard for the sheet mulching. So she mulching is basically the most effective way to kill your lawn. You just grab cardboard. I got these from the recycling center, laid them down like a patchwork quilt above the surface that you want to turn into a bed. And that pretty much is all there is to it, dude. And I had a lot of space with this bed. So I had to make a couple trips to the recycling center, but it definitely was worth it when all the cardboard was laid the hell down. All right, guys. So I have half the cardboard laid down on the yard. And I do this just to make sure that all the weeds get killed because I do not want them things popping up and being a problem as time goes on. And it's about to be winter, so I figured by the time I want to plant stuff in the spring that all the weeds will be killed and I can have some nice broken down cardboard and mulch to add nutrition to the plants. So without further ado, let's put that mulch down. All right, so I got the mulch when my trees were trimmed, but you guys can get mulch literally from anywhere. You can call a tree trimming company to drop it off. You can go just grab bags of leaves to put down on cardboard or anything that other people throw out. As long as it's not like seeded with weeds, you should be good. So <laughs> this took a long time, was back breaking, but it will pay off when I am ready to plant. Now, I told y'all, I made multiple trips to the recycling center, grabbed some more cardboard to do the remainder of the bed, and then I whipped out even more mulch and I started covering the whole thing. Now, as you guys can tell by the beautiful sunset, it was starting to get dark, and like a complete psycho, I did this with lamps outside until like 9 p.m. when I finally was done mulching this entire area. I'm kind of extreme with it, but I guess it's worth it. Feel me? And here, my friends, is a before and after 
of the entire front bed and yard completely redone just look at that masterpiece daddy hey if you guys enjoy drop a like it helps me out and stay tuned for the springtime when i add some plants all up in this area you hear me and alrighty guys so there it is we are done with the front yard i spent like probably two or three more hours outside actually redoing the entirety of this front bed area obviously it is the winter so i don't want to plant too much stuff um some grass is popping up but it's not too bad and yeah, it's, it's the bright early morning sunlight so if it is a little bit hard to see what's going on i apologize but overall man this thing looks clean and i'm super happy with the way it came out so if you guys enjoyed another paul plan tuesday like comment and subscribe we have a big video dropping next tuesday so yeah stay up to date on that subscribe show some love and until next time i'm locked i'm loaded and i'm out peace killing these songs leaving a bloody life i roost and i'm in it to win it so i'm somebody that you should get used to